the woodpecker, turtle, and deer, a folktale from India. Once upon a time, a deer lived in a forest near a lake. Not far from the lake, a woodpecker had a nest in the top of a tree, and in the lake lived a turtle. The three were friends, and they lived happily together. One day, a hunter wandering about in the woods saw the footprints of the deer near the edge of the lake. I will trap this deer when it goes down to drink water, he said. He set a strong trap of leather and went on his way. Early that night, when the deer went down to drink, he was caught in the trap. He cried out for help. At once, the woodpecker flew down from the treetops, and Turtle came out of the water to see what could be done. Said the woodpecker to the turtle, "Friend, you have sharp teeth. Use them to gnaw through the leather trap. I will go and see to it that the hunter keeps away. If we both do our best, our friend will not lose his life." So. The turtle began to chew on the leather, and the woodpecker flew to the hunter's house. At dawn, the hunter came, knife in hand, to the front door of his house. The woodpecker, flapping her wings, flew at the hunter and struck him in the face. The hunter turned back into the house and lay down for a little while. Then he rose up again and took his knife. He said to himself. When I went out by the front door, the bird flew in my face. This time, I will go out by the back door. But the woodpecker thought the hunter went out by the front door before, so now he will leave by the back door. So the woodpecker perched in a tree near the back door. When the hunter came out, the bird flew at him again, flapping her wings in the hunter's face. Then the hunter turned back and ran inside. After a while, he took his knife and started out once more. The woodpecker flew back as fast as she could fly to her friends, crying, "Hurry! Hurry! Here comes the hunter!" By this time. The turtle had gnawed through all the pieces of trap but one. The leather was so hard that it made his teeth feel as if they would fall out, and his poor gums were bleeding. The deer heard the woodpecker, and he saw the hunter, knife in hand, coming on. With a strong pull, the deer broke the last piece of the trap and ran into the woods. The woodpecker flew up to her nest in the tree top, but the turtle was so weak that he could not get away. He lay where he was. The hunter picked him up and threw him into a bag, tying it to a tree. The deer saw that the turtle had been taken, and he made up his mind to save his friend's life. So the deer let the hunter see him. The hunter seized his knife and started after the deer. The deer kept just out of his reach, and led the hunter deeper and deeper into the forest. When the deer saw that they had far into the forest, he slipped away from the hunter, and swift as the wind, he went by another way to where he had left the turtle. But the turtle was not there. The deer called, "Turtle, turtle!" The turtle called out, "Here I am in this bag hanging from a tree." Then the deer lifted the bag with his antlers and placed it on the ground. He tore the bag open and let the turtle out. The woodpecker flew down from her nest, and the deer said to them, "You two friends saved my life." But if we stay here talking, the hunter will find us, and we may not get away. So, friend woodpecker, fly away, and you, friend turtle, dive into the water. I will hide in the forest. Soon, the hunter did come back. 
and he saw not a trace of the deer, nor the turtle, nor the woodpecker. He found his torn bag, and picking it up, he gave a frustrated grunt and went back to his home. As for the three friends, they lived happily together all the rest of their lives. Thank you so much for watching and listening today. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you make that red subscribe button turn gray, you'll never miss another story. Bye!